Amani po abeto ya proso e chresa na na adedan kwa e kufuwa do gana mampeni. Se se wama Supreme Court ate mua fo ma kuma kumi ensan a kufuwa kwa wano mua asayi e suwa ibi emu. E wo Jubilee House. The newly sworn justices, I congratulate each one of you on your appointment to the highest court of the land, the Supreme Court. You have each met the stringent requirements of Article 128, Clause 4 of the Constitution. You're deemed to have had the independence of spirit, proven integrity, high moral character, and impartiality of mind to hold this high office. Your appointments are thus truly well-deserved and merited. The post-1966 Supreme Court has developed a positive reputation for the quality of its constitutional jurisprudence. And I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that you who already had good experience of high judicial office in the Court of Appeal, will help strengthen the development of our nation's constitutional and other jurisprudence in the Supreme Court. It is extremely important that you ensure the strict application of the laws of the land. In the words of the judicial oath which you have just taken, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, and therefore without recourse to the political, religious, or ethnic affiliations of any citizen of the land. When anyone falls foul of the law, the society expects that person will be dealt with accordingly, and the law enforcement agencies must ensure this is done. That is the true meaning of the concept of equality before the law. The judiciary plays a central role in law enforcement with the Supreme Court as the apex court. I wish our new justices of the Supreme Court well and Godspeed in the discharge of their duties. May God bless the new Supreme Court justices and us all. And may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong.